What is up guys, this is Incredibly Average Joe bringing you another Madden 20 video. So being as that we are in the middle of the Blitz promo, we have some other stuff coming out like the NFL 100, all that good stuff. I thought I would go through a video again and let y'all know the best ways to make coins right now, whether you have a little amount of coins or a lot of coins. As y'all can see, I don't have a lot right now. I actually went and just bought Randall Cunningham. So I spent uh, about, I had about 500,000 something. I bought him for about 240. Uh, he is my new quarterback. I got rid of Cam Newton. I was planning on doing that for a little bit. So I like the new Randall. I played a few weekend league games with him. He's really fast. Anyway, so if you don't have a lot of coins, let's say you have even under 100,000, I'm going to go over a method here that you can use. If you have more, I will go over one as well. Even if you are no money spent, the Blitz promo, there are ways that you can take advantage and make money off of it. So you don't need to be buying packs necessarily. Uh, there's definitely things that you can be doing to grow in your coin, coin stack or your training points if you, if you want to work on that as well. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying my content, if it's helping you out, helping you make money and take advantage of the market, all that good stuff, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. Really appreciate all the support. You guys have been amazing. I've really been enjoying doing this for you guys. I really do hope it's helping you all out. All right, let's get on into the video. So the methods that I'm going to be going over, like the methods that I typically like to go over, uh, take advantage of the auction house. So because we're in the middle of the blitz, in case you haven't noticed, we are seeing a massive drop off in the prices of cards. As you can see here, these 88s, in my, I think in my last video that I did before the blitz, these were selling for like 65. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now, Eastern time. At this time, before the blitz, these were going for about 65,000 right now. Now they're all selling for 40 to like 42, 43, somewhere around in that range. That is incredibly cheap, guys. That is very, very cheap. Um, that is a great way to get training if you want that. But um, because everyone is selling cards right now, they're trying to sell them. See, the reason that everything is so low is because everyone's ripping packs right now in the Blitz, trying to get uh, bolts for Lamar, all that good stuff. And then they're selling their cards and they're undercutting everybody else, trying to sell them for the little as little amount as possible, just so that their cards will sell very quickly. And then they, they can get their coins and they can go buy more more packs. So they don't want to, you know, put them up for you know 44, 45. Wait for them to sell. Be patient. They want to sell them for 40 or 41 and just get their coins and move on. They're not really worried about making coins. So what you can do is go through here. My typical, um, so my typical filters are just really going by team by team. It's really simple, but they're very effective. So you see 40,000 there. Um, let's go back really quick. You could definitely. If you are flipping cards right now, you could easily sell them for 42, maybe 43. You do want to be careful in this market because the prices do fluctuate pretty often, but 42, 43, those seem to be pretty standard. Every now and then when I get on here, they'll be going for 47, 48. I'll try and sell cards for that. I don't really have much luck with that because it drops down so quickly. Uh, 42, you can try that though. You might get lucky and just hit it at the right time. Uh, but anyway, so basically, if you're let's say we're selling for 42, you want to be looking for something I'd say 37 and under, 37,000 and under, and that's going to give you a 1,000 coin profit at that point. Uh, really, 35, 34, anything. I've definitely seen some down in the in the 30k range, which is insane. Uh, but that's a that's a very good profit right there. So just go team by team. Broncos is a good one. They've usually got some cheap ones. Um, that is not right there. Browns. I didn't mean to hit Browns, but sometimes the Browns have a good one. They got Joe Hayden. He's usually a little pricier. Uh, Bucks. Bucks is a good one to go to as well. 36. Not getting a whole lot right now. Colts is another good one. Any of the ones that I kind of skip over are ones that I haven't really had a lot of luck with. 37 there with the Colts, Cowboys. Basically, just you go through team by team uh, and just and just keep doing it. And it really doesn't take that long. Uh, typically, by now, I would have found a few. Uh, let's see, 49ers. Not really seeing anything. Let's go on down to the Ravens. I know have some typically. 40, oh, wow. The Ravens are actually going for... Uh, they're up at the regular amount right now. Redskins. So basically, guys, just go team by team. Not finding a lot right now. Just use an example, of course, as I record the video. Uh, I had about 100,000 coins. Oh, there's one. 35. All right, I'm going to buy Clinton Portis. Put him up for 42. Um, and again, when I put my cards up for auction, I put them just under. So I'm putting them up for quote-unquote 42, but I'm really going to put them up for 41,850 uh, just because... A lot of people put theirs up for that even number, and I want mine to undercut them just a little bit. Um, and again, you could put them up for higher than 42. 42 is basically the, the smallest one, uh, or the lowest amount. See, they are jumping up a little bit, and this would tempt me to maybe go to 43, 44, but the problem is they might drop back down. I'm not in too big of a rush to make some coins right now. It's about 45 minutes now until the NFL 100 drops. I'm going to buy one of those, and I'm going to get some coins from that. 
But anyway, yeah, that, that's a good method to do. Um, if you do have a lower coin stack than that and you, you're not looking to spend 40, 50,000, uh, you can definitely drop it down into the 84, 85 range. These just like those are just they're, they're tanked right now, guys. Like these are these are under 20,000 for 24s. That's crazy. So you could easily sell these for 18, 19,000. So if you're selling them for that, you want to let's say about 15,000 just to get yourself a good profit. And again, I will link that spreadsheet down below. I'll update that. All right, sorry guys, so it kicked me out. But basically, if you're selling them for 18,000, you want anything over 16, 16. If you sell it for uh, 18,000 and you buy it, well, someone just bought that 13,000 once I was explaining, but that would have gotten you about a 3,000 coin profit there. So that's that's pretty dang good for only investing, you know, 15,000 of, of your money. So again, similar, I don't really know the teams that are great to go through here because I don't spend a lot of my time in the 84, 85 range. Typically 80, um, 88, 89 is where I stick around, but let's buy Levante David here. We'll put him up for 18,000 and that is gonna get me a nice little tidy profit. So if you only have a smaller amount, say 40,000, you don't wanna spend all of it on uh, one card, which I definitely would not recommend do. If you have say 50,000, don't go and buy 188 just in case something does happen crazy with the market. You never know, the market is, is fluctuating all the time. Um, so just don't necessarily rely on it to be, you know, it's not a sure thing that you make money. You should be able to if you do it smartly, but just be aware, especially when some of these uh, ca new cards drop during the blitz, they usually drop at midnight. Um, just, just be aware of that, that can affect the market in some ways. Uh, so let's go through another really good method here that I found and this is much simpler um, and it's it's you don't have to even filter hardly at all so you go down to program here and this is taking advantage of the NFL 100 so these are the cards that you put into the sets for the NFL 100 players and if you put 25 of them in there you will get the player um, so typically these are going for about 25,000 as you can see these are going for 27 right now so these are really simple guys, just like the other ones. It's, I mean, this is such a great filter. It's, it's so simple, but if you just go, so like Brown's, uh, that Jim Brown uh, card, look, we got one here for 20,000. I'm gonna buy that right now, sell it for 27. If that sells, that'll be a four or 5,000 coin profit. Um, so 27,000, like I said, is a little bit higher than they normally are. Uh, if you wanna be safe, you put it up for 25 because that's about where they're always selling for. I'm gonna put mine up for just under 27. Take a chance, 26.8. We'll see if that sells. That gets me about four or 5,000 coin profit, guys. It's super easy. That's something you can also do if you have a very small amount of coins. I'm gonna do the same with this 20,000 coin. So people are always throwing these cards up. You can always flip them around like this. Just take your four or 5,000 coin profit. It's very easy. Uh, let me put this one up. Do just under 27,000. So that's another good method you could try. That only requires, you don't need a lot of coins for that. It's definitely something you can do. Um, and again, it's pretty uh, uh, reliable. The, the running back ones have, are going for about 25. The new defensive ones are going for about 27. They're going for a little higher. I don't know why I'm scrolling on the Browns. Uh, I forgot I was on an individual team there. Um, but their prices are pretty set and standard. They fluctuate by like three to 4,000, but they're not really affected by the market as a whole because they're being used for their own thing. So guys, I know I've uh, given you all this method before. I'll probably continue to give this method as more people come and watch the videos because it's such an easy method. Flipping cards and a lot of times people don't do it because they're like, ah, a thousand coins, two thousand coins. It's not really worth my time. I promise you it is. See, these are bumping up to about a little more now. I'd still probably sell. See how everyone's at 42, 250. There's a bunch right there. You could probably bump it up to 43. Just kind of a little bit of a harder time selling it, but guys, one, two, three thousand coins at a time that adds up very quickly. Even if you are, um, you know, in the higher range, like in the millions of coins, it really does add up. I'm not having a ton of luck, as y'all can see here, in the 88 range at the moment. Uh, but definitely just play around with it. There we go. We got a 34 right here. See, 34. That'll give me what five thousand coin profit. I'm gonna put them up for 42. So. It's my math. I'm do doing very quick math. I'm not even doing the math in my head. So if it's wrong, whatever. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's super easy, guys. Just flip them around. It's it's just quick. And then you go and you go play some games, and and you've got an extra. There we go. Another 33. Look at that. I'm gonna buy that. Uh, and, and this is a pretty hot filter. A lot of people do this when I try and go buy a card. It'll say it's expired already because people are doing the same thing. It's just really simple. Um, but I know some of you guys are doing this. Some of y'all have messaged me about this and told me how, how well y'all have done with it. And that's great. I know a lot of you are not taking advantage of it too. So definitely do that. It's very, very easy. Um, and it's just 
it's, su it's just a great way to make some extra coins right now for the Blitz promo if that's what you want, or to save up for the NFL 100 guys if that's what you want to do. So again, 25 of them. So that's like 600,000 coins you need to complete one of those sets. If you want to do that, you got to make some coins, guys, and it's not going to be easy to do unless you want to spend actual money, which is, again, always an option. So guys, just a simple coin making video there. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Let me know down below in the comments if you're uh, taking advantage of this sort of method and how many coins you've been able to make off of it, any awesome cards you got, any great snipes you've gotten. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to release a Market Monday video. There's a lot of stuff going on in the market right now. There's some great ways to take advantage long term. I'm going to make the Market Monday videos, try and make them a little more long term. Uh, so I'm going to go over some ways that you can make money uh, in the future after the Blitz promo was ended. So don't miss that one. There's going to be some good methods there. Again, if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell icon, all that good stuff. Everyone finish the weekend strong, crushing your weekend league, your solo battles, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, stay average.